In this video, I'm going to teach you how to merge and unmerge cells in Microsoft Excel. Merging combines two or more cells to create one larger cell. It's a great way to create a label or header that spans several columns. In this example, I'm looking at my checking account statement, and I've created a new tab called Monthly Expenses, where I want to aggregate the expenses from the last three months on my checking account statement. I want to add a header here that says Monthly Expenses, so I'll double click on cell A1 and type Monthly Expenses and press enter. As you can see, it looks a little bit funky because it's only located in cell A1. To make it look better, I'm going to merge these three cells. To do that, I'll select cell A1 and drag across to B1 and C1 and then release my cursor. I'll navigate up here to the Home tab to the Merge and Center drop-down menu. I'll click this small arrow to open the drop-down menu to see the options. I can choose to Merge and Center, Merge Across, Merge Cells, and unmerge cells if I had selected cells that were already merged. I'm going to select Merge Across. As you can see, it's merged these three cells. However, the text inside of the three cells is not centered. To unmerge these cells, I can simply return to the menu and click Unmerge Cells. What I would prefer is to merge these three cells and center the text inside. So I'll just come up here to the drop-down menu and select Merge and Center. As you can see, it's merged these three cells and centered the text inside of it. When you're merging cells, it's important to note that it will only retain the information in the leftmost cell. For instance, if I tried to merge these three cells, here's what would happen. I'll select cells A2, B2, and C2, and I'll come up to the menu here and click Merge and Center. It gives me an alert saying that merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards other values. So let me show you what that means. I'll click OK here. As you can see, it deletes the information that was in cells B2 and C2. I don't want to do that, so I'll come up here and click Undo. Finally, you can't merge cells inside of an Excel table. Over here, I have a table, and you can tell it's a table because it has alternating colors and these drop-down menus for each of the columns. If I try to merge these three cells here, it doesn't let me. My drop-down menu for Merge and Center is no longer available. While merging cells might make your data look better, be careful. Sometimes merging cells can create errors in your data, especially if you're working with formulas and large data sets.